We're gonna make some tater vodka. Tater vodka. Need 40 pounds of potatoes. All right, we got three gallons of water in here. We're gonna make mashed potatoes pretty much. I'm gonna eat them all in. I got all kinds of different potatoes. Got white potatoes, red potatoes, yellow potatoes. We gonna might need another gallon of water. Yeah, you, if you need more water, just, just fill it up. Basically, you wanna boil these get them soft if you get any real dirty ones you want to wash them but most of these taters are pretty damn clean all right you want to get something to mash your potatoes after they get all heated up basically you're making mashed potatoes i run out of room in this pot so i'm gonna transfer this into here i got some uh some barley i'm gonna cook and get ready what kind of barley you got two row Two row malted barley, but uh, that shit's got pulse. I'll show you. We're gonna move this to the trash can, then we're gonna heat up some more water with some malted barley and some sugar. All right, we got this at 150 Five. degrees, about 155. We're dumping our amylase in there or our malted barley so it could uh, create amylase, it's gonna break down all them potatoes. So, so far we got in here 40 pounds of potatoes. All I had was five pounds. You could use 10 pounds. I, I say it's gonna be enough to open up that, them starches. 10 pounds of uh, malted barley two row? Yeah. Right. 10 pounds of uh, malted barley, mash your potatoes. So far the water is, uh, how much fucking water's in there? Put two in here or three? Three. Then we started off with what? Three. We've got six, we got six gallons of water. All right, pour so pull that lid off. So far we got six gallons of water in there. We're gonna add four more after this sets a while. Uh, we're trying to get that malted barley to, to open up and uh, I guess they call it seeping or whatever. It's a, well, we're gonna leave this for about 90 minutes. And then yeah, we're gonna leave it for 90 minutes. We're gonna dissolve our sugar in it. We're gonna dissolve our sugar and uh, dump that in with... Uh, and then we'll, well, we're gonna add more water, cool it down, add our yeast. Yep. Cool. See you in an hour and a half, bitches. All right, we got two gallons of water hot. We're gonna add 15 pounds of sugar. Stir that tussin' in, let it get to the bone. I'm gonna have five more pounds. Let that dissolve. Turn your heat off. All right, we want to add our, our last two gallons of water. Thanks for fucking splashing me, motherfucker. <laughs> fucking got my, I just stone cold you. Got my phone wet. Yeah. <laughs> I just stone cold the hell out of you, didn't I? So, so far there's eight gallons here, two gallons of sugar that's dissolved. We're gonna pour the sugar in here. I'm about to stun your ass. I know it's kind of confusing, but oh, hell yeah. I uh, I let somebody borrow my 10 gallon pot and I, I, I just, I was ready to do this. Well, I'm sure I'm glad we got a lot of headspace on here, man. I got a feeling that these potatoes are gonna swell. Mm-hmm. Mashed potatoes. Put the mixer on it? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna put the mixer on it. All right, after
after your taters cool down, you want to add two tablespoons, at least two tablespoons of dainty yeast. You want to mix it in real good. You don't need no airlock on this. You can get these from uh, Rural King. They seal and they burp on their own. It's what they put chicken feed in. They're food safe. Get you some of these little trash cans. They're nice as fuck. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna transfer our potato liquor so we could uh, make vodka. We got a pump that's put down there with a screen on it. All right, so that pump kind of didn't work. So we're having to uh, do it with a damn metal sieve, scoop at a time. So far we got 12 gallons here. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start working on a bucket full with what's left. All right, so I transferred everything back to the, the bin here. There's a shit ton of liquid. That's a 20 gallon barrel, I believe. But uh, we're gonna let it set overnight and then we'll uh, strain it one more time and run it off, have some vodka. All right, we got all our potato mash in there. We're going to assemble this uh, bubble plate. Make sure you strain the shit out of it. Yeah, we had we, we strained the shit out of that. We had to go through all kinds of shit to get it strained. There she's running, full effect. We already got our our uh, heads out of the way. First jar of hearts is about 144. Fuck out of my way. Shut up, stupid. Big dumb bitch. All right, we're uh, this is the end of our vodka. We got 145 out of that. Um, we got down to 120. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep all this fuck out my proof down. I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. It tastes great. I'm about to taste it for you. Um, we got six other jars. Uh, tails of tails. I'm gonna call that tails, and I'm gonna put that in the sour mash run that I'm using. I'm about to make. That's 145. 145. 30. Yeah, right here, 125. 125. It smells great. Don't fuck around. I'll be drinking everything off the shelf again. Yeah. I've tried all these, and they're all about the same. It, with that bubble plate, you you get no flavor come through. I mean, it is a flavor. It's a really good vodka flavor, but anything made with it, you know. That's strong. That's good. I, I like it. I think it's comparable to top shelf vodkas. Um, I'd compare this to, to Belvedere and Grey Goose and uh, Chopin. But that's what I was going for was like the Chopin tater vodka. I think it's almost flavorless. But you, on the real back end, <clears throat> and real lightly on the nose, you get a little bit of that barley. It's really good. Yeah. And the barley's purpose was to convert the potato starches into alcohol. Um, 
Yeah, that came out really good. With I like that nice. bubble plate. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> I'm going to play with it a lot more. I'm going to uh, load each chamber with some different spices and make a badass gin. We're going to make some gin. Um, my wife drinks a lot of gin. She drinks Hendrix. I might try and clone a Hendrix gin. Uh, try and make one similar with a little bit of, you know, juniper berries, oranges. But that's a whole other video. As far as vodka goes, potatoes are awesome. Except for they are a bitch to work with. They're a bitch to strain. <laughs> like we legit had to strain that shit by hand, ten gallons, and we had to do it like three times. And straight up, the way to go would be like a jacketed still, you know, or yeah, but yeah. that's for rich people. <laughs> we ain't got that no would definitely be the way to go. With oil potatoes. jacketed still, or so, you could just dump slop in, and it turns out good every time. Maybe one day. We don't want to scorch our poor, poor little fifteen gallon keg. Uh, but if we do, we'll just get another one. Yeah. But I, I think that's a success. I'm going to bottle this and some cool ass bottles, put my stickers on them, and get fucked up. There's anything like that one. <laughs> Either way, fuck your mama, bitch!